I'm Dr. Eppoli and um, I was asked a question regarding a treatment for depression, um, PTSD, bipolar disorder, whatever it might be. And this, what I have here is uh, the machine for uh, TMS therapy, which is basically brain stimulation. And nowadays is the most benign option to treat depression. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this before ECT. Shock therapy, unfortunately, can have a lot of side effects. ECT, what does that stand for? Electroconvulsive therapy. Okay. And that, unfortunately, can come with memory loss. It's common practice. Very common. It's a very effective therapy. I mean, ECT. But there's side effects. There's a lot of side effects. And, That's what and I told them. If you want to use your brain, if you want to continue to work, memory loss doesn't kind of help that. So ECT should be left as a last resort. If at all possible, this okay. should be much. It is a much better therapy. And this targets consider. exactly where it needs That's to be. That's exactly the location that you know you need to treat. This goes exactly where it needs to go, nowhere else. It has virtually no side effects and it's just as effective as ECT. It's definitely worth looking into before uh, you go the other way. Is it recovery route. time or Absolutely. is there any? Well, a lot of people, like 30% of people go into remission. They don't need anything else. They're cured. A lot of people, like 50-60% of people improve significantly but might need to continue medications, might decrease medications, so it's hard to predict, but most people improve. Good. That's exciting. It is, it is, it's a wonderful therapy. I wish more people knew about it. Do you have FDA studies? approved, wow, many studies. FDA approved since 2008. They have um, a lot of PST, post-traumatic stress syndrome with. Usually you have, depression goes along with anxiety. If they're like hand to hand, and that comes with PTSD or whatever the reason yeah, might be. Any kind of anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Not a problem. No, no, no.